What astrological sign are you? And is that holding you back from moving abroad and living the kind of life that you know down deep in your heart you want to live? Well, stay tuned because I'm going to be talking about this and how you can move through these ideas of who you are and how you act based on your astrological sign. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Patricia Brooks and I'm a Capricorn. (laughs) And six years ago, I quit my good paying job in the United States and I moved to the south of France for a two and a half year sabbatical. And I did not know what was next for me. This is completely out of character for Capricorn, but I did it anyway. So I feel like I'm proof that just because you were born under a certain sign doesn't mean that you have to not live your dreams. All right. So the other day I had a conversation with a prospective client. It was our, I think our third conversation together. And so I have a little bit of a history with her. In this conversation, we talked about, you know, why it is she was reaching out to me again. And she said she needed accountability, that she needed to be able to follow through so she could finally move to her dream country. And she was finding it hard to do this on her own. And so she knows me and she thought that she would reach back out to me. And so we had a really good conversation. During that conversation, we talked about accountability and why it was so hard for her to do the follow through. And one of the things she said to me that didn't really strike me until early the next morning was that she said, well, I'm a Libra and Libras can tend to be a little bit indecisive or can be a little bit wavering, can go back and forth. And that can be a challenge to following through, committing to something and following through. And I heard her and I didn't counter with anything. And then later on in the conversation, I shared what my sign was. She asked me what my sign was. I told her I was a Capricorn and she said, oh, well, that makes sense. That explains a lot, right? And so there was this understanding of what somebody is like based on their astrological sign. And while I have to say that some of the characteristics seem to be pretty uncanny for some of the people I know, including myself, who are certain signs, that does not mean that that will define who you are and what you do going forward. All right. So that morning I woke up and I said, oh, she struggles with accountability. And she thinks because she's a certain sign and that this indecisiveness seems to be the truth of her sign that she's doomed to need somebody to help her with accountability for the rest of her life. And I thought it was really interesting when I had this aha that I think sometimes things can become a fulfilling prophecy, a self-fulfilling prophecy. I know when I was going through coach training, we went through the gales. And these are all the things that keep us stuck from something that is deeply rooted in us, a gremlin, something that we have really taken into our subconscious and believe at a deep level that something like I'm not good enough to the lower level of a limiting belief that blondes have more fun. I'm a blonde, therefore I'm not going to have any fun. Right. And so this idea of an astrological sign and the characteristics and traits of that can be a limiting belief of varying degrees. It can be something that, yeah, you, you read that, but you don't put much weight on it. Or, you know, you're really into it and you really see how this has impacted your life. You see how you show up and yeah, you show up exactly like this sign. And because of that, that is the reason for you to struggle to achieve what you want to achieve. All right. And so in my work, I help people to move through, first of all, to understand where they're blocked, um, to see what their limiting beliefs are, help them work through that so that they can finally start to create habits and thought patterns and new beliefs that will support their dreams and help them live the kind of lives they want to live. Now, 
I've got a couple of examples of this in my own life. As I said, I left a good paying job without having one to go to. And this was taboo in my family because my mom, my dad, they always would say a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. You don't leave a job unless you have one at the ready. And I did exactly that. Additionally, my sign Capricorn can tend to be too cautious and afraid to take chances. And I look at what I did and I think, well, that is not characteristic of what somebody who is a Capricorn would do, yet I have done it anyway. So I just want to share that with you because that goes to show how our beliefs shape what we do and how we experience life. Another example of this is how I did not believe that I could speak French fluently in high school and in college because I had this belief that, well, I did not get the language gene. My brother got that language gene. So therefore, I would be bad at languages. Here I am fluent in French. Here I am learning Spanish in France. And it feels so amazing to be able to move beyond beliefs that had held me back so that I can experience the kind of life I want to live. All right. What are your thoughts about this idea um, that we can sometimes think that we are supposed to be a certain way or are supposed to act a certain way because of maybe our sex or maybe our race or maybe our astrological sign or maybe our age? That's another good one, right? Well, you know, I'm 50. You know, only people who are in their 20s and 30s move abroad. That's another one that can hold you back. But I'd like to know what your thoughts are. So so leave them in the comments. And I'd also like to share with you that if you are struggling with this, if this really was a big aha for you, that, oh, yeah, I think I might have some of those subconscious beliefs that I'm not even aware of that have been keeping me from living this dream that I've had for such a long time. And I don't want it to hold me back anymore. If that, it sounds like you. And if you're ready to finally tackle what is holding you back and get the tools and have the transformation that will allow you to work through and achieve those things that mean the most to you, then let's have a conversation. You can go to thecouragecatalyst.com forward slash future expat, schedule some time with me, and we can see where you are, where it is you want to go, what things might be holding you back, and how I can help you work through that. All right. So that is all I have for today. A little short video, but it's a powerful one, I hope. And I hope that if you enjoyed this video, you'll share it with a friend. You'll give it a thumbs up. Maybe you'll even make a comment. And I will see you again next time. Bye for now.